Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about something that makes you question why Hollywood is so... well, not very bright, to say the least. Right, from Washington Examiner, watch. Cleopatra depicted as black in new Jada Pinkett Smith a docu-series. Netflix announced that Hollywood star act, an activist Jada Pinkett Smith, you know, the one who insisted and told Will Smith to go and punch Chris Rock. Anyway, on Cleopatra is set to stream on May 10th with a historically racially ambiguous queen depicted as black. I wouldn't call it a racially ambiguous uh, Washington Examiner I expected more from you she was Greek in fact let me go and show it to you she first and foremost this the first reported case of rare mitochondrial haplotype H4A1 in ancient Egypt what does this say Mediterranean origins well, let's see. Ah. Here's another. Ancient Egyptian mummy genome suggests an increase of sub-Saharan African ancestry in post-Roman periods, aka after Europe and the Arabian Peninsula and North Africa became aware that the southern part of Africa existed. As in... During the slave period of the Muslims, the Muslims went on there, got the slaves and transferred them to those regions. How do I know? History. Here it is, the ancient genome of the Egyptians. Estimated origins of an immigrant population contributed to the Egyptian heritage between 14, 1400 BCE and 400. Ancient populations in the Levant this area, which is Arab in general, Neolithic Peninsula, population of Anatolian Peninsula, Neolithic populations from Europe. This is the entire, this is what the Egyptian heritage, what the Egyptians looked like back then. To the point that the Egyptians from today kind of represent that, with the exception of the black people. Wanna know what? Here, let me show you to you what no, first and foremost, uh, here it is. Here. This is a Sub-Sahara Africa. Pretty simple, right? You can see multiple kingdoms, and this one comprises more than just um, the region around the, the Ptolemaic Egypt and Ptolemaic era under the Roman period. This also has the Islamic period, as you can see here from the year 700 and up. Umayyad Caliphate, probably the year 1000, thereabouts. And you can see that there was a literally nothing, nothing in all of, of those uh, regions here. It means that people were not aware of sub-saharan africans who are the sub-saharan africans well sub-saharan africans are pretty much her aka black people that you know today the actual the actual look of cleopatra was this as you can see here, do you see black people in this in this painting? No. This is wrong. This is blackwashing history. You are destroying it. We even have actual pictorial evidence of Cleopatra. This is her. She doesn't even have. She doesn't even have. Sub-Saharan African features. As you can see, look at the nose. Kind of like mine. But you can see here, Roma. You can see her painting. Oh my god!
god! Oh my god, history is so racist! How dare you picture Cleopatra like that? We need to destroy this image and paint it all black. So it can be a representative how I think Cleopatra looks like. I'm pretty much imagine that's exactly what those goddamn fucking retarders of the farlet thinks. But before I continue, why not take something that is definitely not woke, it's definitely not even close as the Cleopatra thing, and it's probably way more historically accurate than the docu-series that Jada Pinkett Smith is doing. Right, here it is. Right, so now you are pretty much aware of how she looked like. Take a peek, uh, a peek of this 1896 painting of the Queen, Cleop Queen Cleopatra. You can see that there's no black people there. It's fascinating, isn't it? How things are. But the funny thing is, is that this is an Afrocentric belief that is pretty much rampant on the racist left in America, and it is sadly spreading throughout the world. As you can see over here, this is the change.org petition. Let's see if this is... Okay, definitely nothing here to dox me. As you can see here, this is a petition from the Egyptian people against this goddamn historically inaccurate documentary. It is what they say. This is petition is made by the Egyptian people for the Egyptian people. Afrocentrism is a pseudoscience that is pushing a group's agenda to claim Egypt's history and rob the actual Egyptians from it. Exactly. Oh, guys, why don't you just give the Egyptian history to the black people? And you have so much history, they have nothing. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the far left believes. They completely utterly forget the multitude and myriad of kingdoms and history and folklore and myths that all of those empires that you are actually very much aware of here existed. Shh, details. Hey, this is what Erasosteen era of the map was. That's the known world for the Romans and Egyptians. You can see Britannia, Baltia. Ooh, interesting. Thule. Thule. Oh, hello. Is that? Holy shit. That's, that may actually be the Faroe Island. Holy shit. Hmm. Quite fascinating. Anyway. Iberian Peninsula, Italia. All right. As you can see, this is it. They could not cross the Saharan Desert. That's the known world. The known fucking world. And you can see the accuracy of the map was pretty much here. This is what the most uh, common area. That's why you see the the region has more details. Is more 
mm, it's more accurate to what you know today based on the maps we have today. That's why this looks more accurate than here and here. This area here was quite um, not as well trafficked as before. But anyway, let's continue with the petition. Cleopatra was born in Alexandria, Egypt, in the Ptolemaic dynasty to Greek descent. She was not black. This is in no way against black people. Yeah, they actually had to add multiple warnings in here because we all know they will get cancelled by the far left. Because the far left does not care about historical accuracy on any way, shape or form. It's all about revisionism and race swaps and it spreading their own retarded goddamn fucking politics into everything. Right. But then again, I also have nothing against black people. If you if you actually focus on the actual queens of the African region, you already did once. In the first part of your Doku series, uh and Zinga Zinga something like that. That's her name. If you actually focus on people like her, we wouldn't have any problems. But you don't. Right, anyway. Black people, and it's simply a wake-up call to preserve the history and the integrity of the Egyptian and the Greeks. The show is clearly done to complement the Afrocentric movement, which claims to be the owner of the ancient Egyptian civilization, and to consolidate what the movement promotes. You know what? If you want to claim the Egyptian history, I want reparation for my people. Yeah, I have Jewish ancestry, and we were slaves to the Egyptians, so I want all that money that San Francisco is going to give you to me. Yeah. Hey, two can play this game. Right. Egypt was never black, and it was never white. Technically, white refers to Caucasian. Caucasians are people from Europe, from Scandinavian regions, Arabs. Yeah. Arabs. I know you racist freaks of the neo-Nazi movement actually doesn't know that, but eh. Indians? Yeah, from the India region. Yes, they are Caucasians. Pakistanis? Yes, they are Caucasians. Exactly. I know you don't like it, but it is. And people from the region of well, it's a mixture today, it's quite destroyed because of the Islamic slave trade, but even in that region from Ethiopia, etc., were Caucasians. But, eh, details from the far left, that does not care. But either way, where was I? Ah, not Ipe. White. Egypt is just Egypt. There are many great African black civilizations, but Egypt was, n was is not one of them. Sign the petition to stop the falsification of history. Once again, the disclaimer. Disclaimer, please do not use this in any way, shape or form to be racist or prejudiced against black people or anyone else. This is no fuel for nationalism either. Only a call for the truth. Exactly, because after all, you need to actually add those warnings because of the far left. But... Wait, 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 there was, uh, ah, here it is. Oh, before I go, I need to actually do this. See, uh, oh, shit on a pickle. Why won't you? Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh. Yeah, I'm almost there. There you go. As you can see here, this is a tweet. Cleopatra race is trending with another newsflash from an archaeologist. Our ideas of race are modern. There are no genetic distinctions that can separate white and black people. We overlap. The ancient Greeks didn't see race like you do. You're a bit retarded, aren't you? Right now, I think you're not an archaeologist. Because a race plays a very big role in our bones. You can actually unearth skeletons and actually know which race they belong to. That's something that people actually use in anthropology, especially in places where mass genocide happened. 
you can actually use the skeletons that in a mass grave to actually identify which group of which people belong to which ethnicity etc to actually separate them and then give a ending and finally a closure for families in myriad of locations I am sorry, this is a fact, and there is genetic variances and genetic marks that dis differentiate all of those races, from Caucasians, which includes Jewish, uh, Mediterranean, Greek, Scandinavian, Iberian, Pakistani, Indian, Arab, there's a variation, and then there's the black variation, and then there's the Asian variation. Of course, we are all humans, there is no question about that. But you need to understand, you fucking retarded half-archaeologist, that very likely you're not. I have my doubts. Oh, you actually slept in class when they were talking about race and all of those things. Is that there is a difference. You need it to work, to do your job. That's how it is, you absolute troglodyte. Right, others did not agree with Dibble. For instance, British Egyptian doctor and Middle Eastern political observer Nirvana Mahmoud thought that the casting choice was an example of historical revisionism. And this is from a uh, Greek reporter, uh, that means from Greek. And she is Caucasian, she is white. Yes. Arabs. Like I said, I will keep on referring to that because that is this the truth. Because you can try to change history, you can try to rewrite what you consider white. That's a reference to neo Nazis. But fact is a fact. Arabs, Jewish people, Indians, Pakistanis are all white. You can throw a temper tantrum, you can try to, to cancel me for it, but that's a fact. They're considered Caucasians. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, what she said. The theft of Egyptian history continues. American revisionists decided that the Greek Egyptian queen, hashtag Cleopatra, was somehow black. Nothing wrong with being black. Exactly, there is nothing wrong with it. If it was the truth, but that is a big, fat, pathetic lie. She's absolutely correct. It is a big, fat, pathetic lie. Well, considering the quantity of people that they have added in there, I'm pretty sure that this list is going to be the woke washing list that you see here is going to grow to very, very big, big numbers. Here, Cleopatra, Jada Pinkett Smith. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I could not find more of the casting that this series has, so I could not add the other names in this, but it will be added as I, more of the names are released or people know about it because they are minor actors. I'm pretty sure that at least this list is going to go to 290 easily with the, na with the names of this series. But the far left, Afrocentric movements, they do not care about facts. It's all about, oh, look at me, look at me. I am so inclusive that I'm going to blackwash history. Mm. So in summary, we was, we was kings and queens and shit. Thanks to my girlfriend for showing me this absolute madness that is going on on the left, far left. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I lost faith in humanity seeing the pushback this thing is having. But it's Hollywood. It's a Netflix. What did we expect from them? On that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. And remember, there's nothing wrong in being black. There's nothing wrong in being Asian. There's nothing wrong in being Indian, Pakistani, Scandinavian, Iberian, British... Mediterranean, Greek, Egyptian, there's nothing wrong with any of that, not even being Jewish, nothing, nothing wrong in being human, but respect history. Talk to you guys later.